So that said, let's save. Again, this is a very temperamental software, so you want to save often. And then continue playing with the music. Um, you may have, like, I have actually no music training. I can't read sheet music, but I can sort of work my way with a piano. That's one way of looking at it. Pretend you have a piano, and you can find, like, virtual piano programs online, or if you have any instrument at home, and play around with it and say, what would I be playing if I wanted to imitate the melody of the song? And that's what you want to get to. And you're going to find that as you're working with Yas, you get uh, more comfortable with the software, more comfortable with the piano, and you'll sometimes get uh, perhaps an easier time, like an intuition. Once you get a couple of notes, you can sort of figure out, okay, well, if these three notes are here, then I do think that this note would be here rather than here. That's an intuition you get as you go on and you become um, more confident in your skills. And let's listen to that. So, well, as it continues, you can see that we hadn't worked on those notes yet. But that sounds just about right. Now, as a reminder, you've seen that on this one, um, I've gone higher up. I can't uh, see right now because of the difficult piano. It seems that I'm on a 12, so if I'm on a 12, then I could assume that this, in the game, would be equivalent to singing this. And indeed, they sort of sound similar, albeit different. You've also noticed, perhaps, that uh, some melodies repeat themselves. I mean, I've just started the song, and I've already seen... Oh, there. I've ju this is, uh, don't worry about it, this is just the game that shifted up. Um, as I've said, Yas is like a impatient kid who doesn't necessarily know what it wants to do and does it anyway. So I've just started this melody and I'm seeing the same melody appear here. And what you'll also find as you're creating songs is that some of the same notes repeat. Um, for example, this I imagine this, see this half note, this half, half, and then a full. And what I mean by half, half, full, I'm referring to this one, I call it half because it's crossing a line. I also call this one half because it's crossing a line. And I call this one full because it's in between two lines. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything in music, but you'll see that these sort of patterns um, repeat themselves. Here again, we've got the half, half, full, half, half, full, and with the melody of the song, you'll see that certain combinations, for example, don't work, like a half, half, half. That wouldn't sound too good. It, something just, something, something uh, sounded wrong there. Let's take away the audio. No, that didn't sound right. So that sounded pretty good. Now, I am i should have probably mentioned this earlier, but this requires to have a, um, some form of note recognition to be 
able to distinguish notes from each other if um, your friends are always telling you that you're a very poor singer because you can't um, tell one tune from another, you can't carry a melody. Uh, song making without a MIDI or a car file may not be for you because song making without a MIDI requires that the author puts in the notes individually and what you can find sometimes on the on songs, I've definitely found songs and maybe my beginner songs were like that too, where the person had obviously worked without a MIDI but had put some notes that were simply wrong. Like say I would have gotten a file where someone had mistakenly put in this as the melody. Now, if you're familiar with the song and um, you have good enough ears, you can tell that that was not the right melody. However, I guess that's uh, that depends on uh, your experience. If this is your first time making a song and you really, really want to try making the song, then go for it, no matter what your uh, musical ear may be. And you can see sometimes some of the mistakes that you make here when you then try to sing the song in karaoke. Like, say you can't tell the notes apart when you're listening to them now but you can actually sing the right version of the song or you get your friends to sing it and if they're having issues hitting some of your notes and they're not getting any points then it may be a matter of uh, checking the file to to see if the notes are indeed placed in the right place so i've been um i've done what three of four little lines so far I've got a couple more to do, so I will put a pause for the moment and uh, work through them by myself. What you will find, and I'm going to be coming to that later on, is that once you hit something that repeats itself, typically, uh, you know, choruses are usually the same, then you can actually, yes, gives you the option to basically copy the melody of basically anything. You can select one line, two lines, three lines, copy the melody, and then paste it later on in your song. So that means basically you create the chorus once, and then you can simply copy and paste for the second and, ter and uh, third chorus. So that saves you um, some amount of work. So I'll get back to you once I hit one of those. In the meantime, I'm just going to continue arranging my notes.